The conversation recorded at the beginning of the 20th chapter of John's Gospel is arguably the most pivotal one in all of human history. Mary Magdalene comes to the tomb weeping, thinking her beloved friend and teacher is dead and gone forever. And yet there he is, alive and well. And in her shock and amazement, she runs off and tells his other friends and disciples of what she has seen. But compared to the forces of the empire that sought to destroy Jesus, that sought to stamp out any hint of the gospel message that he came to earth to bring, this is tiny and insignificant. The number of people who heard this resurrection message and believed it were absolutely nothing by comparison to the myriads and the legions that made up the forces of empire. And yet that empire, for all its might and seeming instructability, has been gone for 1,500 years, but the resurrection message lives on. It has been through trials and tribulations unimaginable. It has grown, it has shrank, it has gone every which way, but it is still here. And that is the incredible message of Easter. The forces that seek to corrupt and destroy, the forces of evil, always seem to look bigger and louder and flashier than the power of God that we see in the resurrection. But they're not. They're paper tigers. It's all smoke and mirrors. The only message that is truly eternal, truly indestructible, that will remain when all else has crumbled into dust is the message of the resurrection. The message of God's power to bring death out of life, to bring love out of hate, every single time. That is something we can put our full faith and trust in and know that in the end, God wins. Life wins. Love wins. Happy Easter.